This chart right here off to the right, and this is uh, fMRI, a functional magnetic resonant image uh, picture, is of a human. Now, here's the difference. What you're looking at as far as the chart itself is how a probiotic literally can help bring relief to such things as overactivation of the amygdala. In this case, all right, now you follow the chart down below and you see the little scatter plots graph where you want to call it. If you look at it, you see the placebo group, you see the red dots all over the place. That is a group that is not taking a certain type of probiotic. You see the group to the right. You see all the blue down to that one little corner into that third quadrant area. All right, that is basically the relief brought on by probiotic by reducing, in this case, what may be interpreted as overactivation of the amygdala. So that's important because in situations such as depression or anxiety, the amygdala tends to be overactivated. Henceforth, left again, the placebo group and all the red dots above. So the probiotic brought relief. With that in mind, let's go right into the public citation as follows, and we'll explain why more in a second. First, study shows tie between probiotic and improved symptoms of depression. In a study published in the Medical Journal of Gastroenterology, researchers found that twice, twice, as many adults with irritable bowel syndrome reported improvements from coexisting depression when they took a specific probiotic than adults with IBS who took a placebo. The study also provides, as indicated from the prior chart, provides further evidence of the microbiota environment in the intestines being in direct communication with the brain. Now the amount taken, the length of time, so on and so forth in the study parameters, which are as follows. Citation title, probiotic, bifido, bow, bifido, bifido, how would you like to pronounce it? Bacterium longum reduces depression scores with and alters brain activity of pilot study in patients with IBS. DOI citation is as follows. Oversight looks cool. There was a COI in regard to the funder, but the funder itself had no financial, uh, or did not say no financial interest, had no impact on the writing, production, marketing, or whatever it came down to in regard to interpreting the data. Study participants, pilot study, 44 adults with IBS and anxiety, anxiety, randomized, double blind, placebo controlled study. Study length, approximately 10 weeks. Now this is important. They're only on the probiotics for six weeks. And the reason that's important is this. The benefits uh, that were achieved through the probiotics began to wear off as they headed more toward head did, headed more towards a 10 week period of time. So the benefits were the greatest at the six week period. Then they stopped taking the probiotic in six weeks and begin to have like a washout period. And those benefits in regard to alleviating depression began to erode over time. So maybe if they do it again, they put them back in the probiotic, it'd be a good contrast study. Dosage and methods this is the part you're waiting for. Patients were randomized to receive 42 sachets or sachets. Remember, it is a six weeks on the probiotic, so 42, six times seven is 42 days, which is one packet daily of either spray dry, bifidobacterium longum, and the scientific notation is a little confusing, so I put down, in my words, 10 billion colony forming units, units per gram or a placebo containing one gram of maltodextrin. Treatment products were indistinguishable in terms of package, color, taste, and consistency, henceforth a blind placebo randomized study. Patients were instructed to dissolve the content of the sachet in 100, 200 milliliters of lactose-free milk, soy milk, or rice milk preheated to 20 degrees Celsius. Results at six weeks, 14 of the 22 or 64 percent of the patients taking the probiotic had decreased depression scores compared to only seven of the 22 or 32% of the patients giving a placebo, which is significant results, which is an understatement. The other part, as stated by the MRI you saw before, functional magnetic resonance imaging showed that the improvement in depression scores was associated with changes in multiple brain areas involved in mood control itself. Fascinating study because we're also looking at it from a biochemical standpoint, or I should say how it may impact the brain. Henceforth, saying it's the first human. Now we did videos before in regard to probiotics relieving depression in animal models. This is a human model, albeit a pilot study, and needs to be confirmed in future studies as a whole. 
to leave what, what the researcher stated, which is kind of fascinating how long they've been looking at this particular strain of beneficial bacteria. It is as follows to quote them. This is the result of a decade long journey from identifying the probiotic, testing it in preclinical models and investigating the pathways through which the signals from the gut reach the brain. It just opens up an incredible potential new door in healthy, positive treatment options that basically in, if you want to word it, brings the body back into balance in a very simple yet eloquent way of microbiome or bacterial, beneficial bacterial introduction. Again, this is Ralph Churchiano signing off. I hope you find this information of interest and of use. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. Catch you all later. Bye.